yeah, hopefully whatever it is, because it's definitely something different that we're getting right now with Bray Wyatt. Um, yeah, it's definitely not the fiend. That's yeah. very Guy Fox looking mask, which is funny because I said that, and then we put on the live reactions for cultaholic after Mm -hmm. um just to see like who was on and how they reacted and i was so happy that it was tom and adams i knew that would be like great reactions and tom made the same comment i was like see i said the same thing like that the guy that was the first thing i i can't wait till friday to see like where this is going because now we have like a life-size mercy the buzzard ramblin rabbit um abby the witch random fiend that isn't bray wyatt mm-hmm. and that's it right so it was just huskus oh yeah and huskus the pig yeah. um that was one of the coolest returns i have ever seen in my entire history of ever watching wrestling yeah like i love like the dusty fun house that they yes. showed um and then like coming to that door and how they had the light and the fog around it you Uh, know why they did that blue light right that was like a a little nod and tribute to Brody lee from when he debuted uh, result at one in AEW. he had that light behind him too mm -hmm. Uh, and apparently i read that bray's new entrance theme has like a little like tribute or like a little nod and wink to Brody Lee in it too so I'm excited to hear that to see what that little like nod at Brody Lee is gonna be yeah um yeah and this is it's it's all so very exciting to see what's going to happen with Bray Wyatt Wyatt. and perhaps his faction that it seems like he's gonna get so yeah I I was so happy for him too. I mean, that reaction that he got, like that, oh my God, the crowd went absolutely out of their minds. Like they, it was just like, like for as many faults as I find with Philly, they're a great wrestling town. Mm-hmm. You know, ECW and the East Coast, the Northeast in general is probably the best for wrestling. Like New yeah. York, Philly, Boston, Boston. like all that. Main banger man main obviously huge wrestling town i like that's sarcasm for anyone who can't see my face (laughs) i'd say like chicago is like the furthest west you can go or like that's like the great hardcore crowds Mm -hmm. but i mean if you're going like anywhere around like new york new jersey northeastern pennsylvania like but like new england all of that little Mm -hmm. area they have the best reactions for shit and he got such a great great pop like they were just from the moment the lights went out everybody already had their cell phones like to be the little fireflies and have you ever been in an arena with that yeah oh my god isn't it the coolest looking thing it really is i've been in that arena i think when that happened and then yeah. in ours <clears throat> it just it it like goosebumps like you're when you're in there and i'm oh my god i'm so upset that we weren't there alive for it i wish that we chose that show instead and did that we could have got cheap seats like you know mm-hmm. oh i'm so so sad that i was not there alive for that i don't think i've ever regretted more not being at a live show than i regret not being at that one just for the last five minutes like yeah yeah, the first match, the ladder match, and then the Bray coming back. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Um, all in all, like, Extreme Rules was... A, a, okay. Yeah, it was good. Especially for, like, a non... Um, like, it, wa- it wasn't the Royal Rumble. It wasn't WrestleMania or SummerSlam or Survivor Series. So, um, they, they really pulled it all out. And Extreme Rules is usually not great um it's not one of those pay-per-views that i ever really enjoy much because this is the first one that i can remember that every match had some kind of extreme gimmick and it wasn't Mm -hmm. just like you know two main matches that had like extreme something and like and then everything else was just a regular match like this pay-per-view had extreme rules for every single match that it had there, yeah. what was it called the darnie brook donnie brook match yeah. or whatever something like that yeah 
Uh, then you had, you know, a strap match and you had the extreme rules match. You had a ladder match. You had the fight pit match. You had the, I quit, like everything had something. Yeah. And even the, the worst match on that whole pay-per-view was still a good match. I, I would le- like legit give that like an A overall. Like I, I think that that was one of the better pay-per-views all mm-hmm. year from WWE. It felt like a takeover. Like yeah it was it was great it really was 